Dog here, and we are back with another Top Dog Trading Card sponsored video of Lorcana Ursula's Return. This is the fourth set and fourth in the series uh, leading up to Shimmering Skies, which comes out. The, uh, I believe, pre release is August 9th. And uh, Top Dogs, want to take a journey back and look? Adam, starting with the first chapter to Ursula's Return. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and crack this open. See what we can pull. Maybe, just maybe, we finally will hit an Enchanted. Unfortunately, so far, well, I'm not going to tell you. And I already gave it away, but go watch the other videos. Again, uh, like the other videos, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through, I'm going to open all of these up, and then I'm going to pause and take a look at what we pulled and what the big hits were from the box, because I'm still learning about Lorcana, and uh, so far every time I speculate, it doesn't go that well, so without further ado... Let's get into it. I do know that we want to pull a Diablo out of here, as well as any Enchanted. I believe CISO is pretty good, but I'm not sure if it's that one or not. Everybody looking forward to Shimmering Skies? I know the folks over at Top Dog Trading Cards are. Um, they recently had just gotten back from the uh, playing at the um, Pro Tour down in Texas. Um, they had a pretty good time during that. don't think that's the Diablo we're looking for either, but I'll put it off to the side. Just in case, which means more than likely I'm incorrect on this. fact I'm pretty sure I know 100% that that is not the Diablo we're looking for so but if I'm wrong please leave a comment let me know because uh, I need to get educated on Lorcana more Seems like they've changed the wrappers on Ursula's return. They're a little bit more difficult to open than uh, the previous sets. Oh, 
to put that on because I seem to think that that was one that also had a little bit of value. I said I wasn't going to do this and I can't help myself. A challenge to see if I can pick up and remember what I've been researching on, so. Gus. Gus was always my favorite mouse in Cinderella. We don't talk about Bruno. Boom, 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 boom. Ah. Once you get this going and that song gets in your head, it just stays there the entire time. I think Disney one knows how to do that with most of the songs they put in there. Is they put some kind of subliminal, addictive, transient thought process in there that just gets you locked in it. And the song rattles around in your head forever. So I do have videos out at this point, uh, one for each set that has been released. So if you haven't seen that, stop watching this, go back, watch those so you can see what we're pulled and then follow up back with this one, of course. Um, and if you see any cards that you like or you need uh, some singles to complete your decks, Head on over to Top Dog Trading Cards. Uh, the link is below in the description. And um, not only are they a sponsor to my channel, but I also am a customer of theirs. Uh, so I can tell you that they have a good selection of product. And the delivery is prompt and uh, efficient. So, uh, nothing but good things to say about them and I think it'll, you'll do well as well and we're just gonna have Maxwell join in here Maxwell is one of my dogs um, great protector if anybody comes walking by or driving their car he's gonna start barking so uh, I apologize for any if you couldn't hear anything or if it was distracting but what are you gonna do? Like we might be talking about Bruno so far. <laughs> All right, let's keep going. Again, I don't know which one he 
This is the big one to pull. So we will wait until the end of the video when I go back and do a review. So Yin Sid might be the only one that I'm gonna be willing to take a uh, a chance on. Okay, last pack in the second third of the box. Have not seen an enchanted. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and put this down because I do think that that is another card that is sought after, and that's a foil. I think that Mickey Mouse had some value in it. I mean, the value is all subjective anyways. Um, it's about the cards. Whether you're a collector and you just enjoy the artwork or you're building decks, the cards have different values at that. Again, I just like to thank the uh, good people over at Top Dog Trading Cards uh, for sponsoring my channel. 
and allowing me to open up some of their products and share this with you. Okay, right, down to the last three packs of the box. Are we going to hit an Enchanted? I don't know. I'm hoping. I would love to pull an Enchanted for, the, for them. Or hit a Diablo. A Diablo would be nice to hit. If that is the Diablo that is uh, sought after, I'm going to be really happy to have missed that and be able to say that's the one, but I don't know. Enchanted, unfortunately. Um, but I know that I think these two have some value there. We're going to pause and while I go through everything. And then uh, we'll be right back with the hits of the box. And we're back. And um, suffice it to say, you already all know this. But I just learned that is not the Diablo that we were looking at. For. So, uh, again, not a lot of big hits financially. But uh, you know, a couple bucks. This this about a ten dollar card. Sisu. Uh, this one's about fourteen. Uh, around four. Around five on that one. The queen, the foil one there. That's about seven bucks. And then Peglet. So those are the big hits of the box. As always, I really appreciate you sticking around and watching the videos with me. Um, Shimmering Sky is coming out soon, so uh, this is the final chapter that we have um, in the uh, Lorcana set uh, journey right now. I um, want to again thank Top Dog Car uh, Trading Cards for um, sponsoring this video. Please go over it and check out their TCG. Um, and, well, nope, sorry. Apologize, that is my cat coming in here to... Uh, bless the video. So, um, as always, appreciate it. Like, subscribe, and thanks. Need singles? Check out Top Dog Trading Cards. Link in the description below.